ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for a very special presentation. It is called Jim's Elevator Pitch for Footy Dads, <laughs> the TV show. I'm excited. That's right. We're talking Footy <laughs> Dads. It is every single team in the AFL. Here we go. And their coach as a dad. And then one of the players. Alex. Uh, West Coast don't have a coach. Who's their dad? Yeah, they have good dads. Co- coach. Someone's shush. I'm already, I'm already sick of you. Shush. <laughs> He yeah. put his head up, yeah. which is weird. That was the weird. simple idea behind this is you have a coach who fits an archetype, a stereotype, okay. if you will, and one of the players on that list who I feel like could basically either be their son or fit another <laughs> archetype as their son, a father and son duo, if you will. Okay. This is basically we don't, you know, who's the coolest sort of footy dad out of all the coaches? We'll get there in the end, I think, with a lot of this. We'll understand it. Uh, we talked about, you know, Top five dads, like TV dads, yeah. is like a fun thing we talked about yesterday. And how I'm like, as long as no one says the dude from Hey Dad, yep. we're good. Or Bill Cosby. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Cosby. There yep. you go. He was a doctor. Anywho, let's do 40 dads. Adelaide, Maddie Nix, and Riley Thrill Thrillthorpe. Why is this? This has full blown stepdad vibes. It's like, <laughs> you're not my real dad. It's this Jack's son coming home going, Did you sleep with my mum? It's like, No, sir. It's like, You better not. Basically, that's where we're at with Riley Thrillthorpe. Like, Matthew Nix has to call him sir. <laughs> but Matthew Nix made his brother laps the other night. Yeah. Exactly. And Riley Thrillthorpe, like, I'm going to go. I'm gonna <laughs> he's not even my, my real dad. dad in my head. He's not even my real dad. This sucks. I hate him so much. That's why he's so jacked. He's like, yeah, if he says anything, I'm going to bash him. Like that's what he's telling all his mates, right? It's going the beard. Yeah. And like Matty Nix is like, oh, I'm not, I'm not in this for the long haul. <laughs> I, like Thrillthorpe knows that the stepdad's not going to be there for much longer. Yeah. He's on his way out. Thrillthorpe's just like, oh, I'm the man of the house now. Brisbane. I love this. Chris Fagan and Lockie Neal. How do they fit this? They're just a nice, nice. Exactly. Yeah, very nice, boy. Yeah. Overachievers who spend too much time together. <laughs> yeah. Last week, they built a pergola. <laughs> They've already got plans next weekend. They're going to build a shit in Werribee with the Chris Two brothers. <laughs> like, they have. That's why you're off next week. Is that, that what you're doing? I, yeah, yeah. I thought so, yeah. <laughs> but they are just like way too chummy. They're each other's best mates. They are, yeah. And it's like Chris Fagan's just so proud of him. Could he be his say grand- the wife could... and the partner of Lockie absolutely hate could how Could he be his granddad? Possibly. Maybe, but. Sorry, Lucky sorry, Neil is pretty old, but yeah. at the same time, like I feel like this is just the perfect kind of like we're just good mates. Okay, it's like they just they've got a really solid, serious, happy relationship, and they are just each other's best mates. Yeah, Carlton, <laughs> Vossi, and Big H. Oh. And Matty Cottrell. That's right, we're going double barrel because they're all ginged. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Come Harry, on, Harry's ginged, is he? He's a bit ginger. Yeah. <laughs> There's right. enough ginger in there to make it. Yeah. Oh, you, you're, you're the right judge for it. Right I mean, judge. come on. Yeah. Yeah. I can call us ginger. <laughs> you, that's our word, stats boy. Settle down there, mate. I didn't Settle say down. Rango, I said ginger. Uh, Vossi, just like the super supportive like dad who's just like, he's the the ultimate footy dad. Like He's there at Auskick. He's taking Big H and Cotters I reckon he, to Auskick. Doing he's the like, barbecue. Yep. He's out there. He's the one like... Uh, you have like volunteers on your Oz kickers. He's like out there just going, come on, boys. Like he's actually like coaching them pretty hard. Don't mind this. He's trying to straighten up Big H's kicking. He's out in the backyard with him every <laughs> night going, come on, Big H, you can do it this time. Oh, he's killed the cat. <laughs> like that sort of vibe. Like that's exactly where he's at. But it's coming along. Yeah. And Cotters, like he's just like that under like the the second, the younger son, right? Yeah. He's just like, the, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to go down. Come on. <laughs> and like Voss is like, yeah, yeah, I still love you, buddy. I still love you. And away he goes, Collingwood. Craig McRae and the Dakai. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, has, has to be. Absolute beloved stepdad vibes. Yeah. Because like, we already know. My sons are the best. My sons are just so good. They love him. They call yeah. him Craig. Yeah. They call him Craig. G'day, Craig. He's like, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to call me dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Like, just, he loves him. They love but him. But if they call him dad, he'd break down in tears of happiness. <laughs> it will happen yeah. once they win another flag. It's yeah. like, you called me dad. Oh, oh God, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's because their real dad's a loose unit. Yes. That's it. He's out there just punching on in the, in the, in the uh, box, stands. Yeah. Essendon, Brad Scott, and Nick Hind. Why is that? Nick Hind. Because they're actual father-son bricklayers during the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they rock up like, you're like, oh, I've got to put in a garden path. Up rock <laughs> Brad Scott and Nick Hind. No, Just bricklaying. They're just right. like, they've got the van. It's like <laughs> Scott and Hind, bricklayers. <laughs> they're just out there hanging around the northwest of Melbourne, <laughs> just laying bricks. I love that. I did see him out there the other week, yeah. Brad Scott. It was a bit tricky, like. For Essendon, you could also go Zach Merritt, which oh, is like, uh, you know, very nice. But I don't know, just teacher's pet. 
Well, it's a bit teacher's petty for Zach Merritt. Yeah. You know, that's fine. Yeah, also, but, also, but also Scott was at the AFL, so, you know, he's a bit of a nerd. <laughs> yeah. He is. But Nick Hyde, I just love them as <laughs> the bricklayers. Brick that's great. It's so Frio! Rare. This, this is, is an interesting one. Justin Longmuir and Jaya Miss. He's like, just what's he doing? Two most what is that haircut? Things? Oh, I'm going to have to have a word with these teachers, aren't I? Or Bailey Banfield. He's this very handsome school captain. Yeah. <laughs> but school has he captain. peaked? His dad's worried that he's peaked in high school. Oh, yeah. Uh, but also Justin Longmuir could be the boring dad. He, he is boring. He's, he's boring. like, boring. you get home, he's like, how was your day, Dad? And he's like, uh, he puts down his glass and goes, oh, <laughs> hello, son. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, what have you been up to? Yeah. He's like, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I'm going to go start a roofing business. <laughs> Bailey Banfield. I don't know. I feel like we all know these ones. Oh, yeah, uh, I've got one. The overachieving school captain. Yep. You have like, is that what that exactly was the that. peak of your yeah, life? Yeah, 16 to 18 was the peak. Oh, that's a rough one. <laughs> but Bailey, Bailey Banfield's handsome enough. He'll be fine. <laughs> Geelong, Chris Scott. And the entire team, because I don't know, oh. he might have like hooked up with all their mums. Um, <laughs> but Geelong, <laughs> the, the hair. he's a beautiful looking man. Yeah. He's got the awesome like he, divorcee, it's the salt yeah. pepper, the cool dad, salt like, pepper. He's walking to Lammy's every Friday night. <laughs> he's, got, <laughs> he's got the big mansion on the water. Yeah, he loves it. But for Geelong, it's actually Tom Stewart. Yeah, and Ollie Dempsey and Lawson Humphreys. Because <laughs> they're all like, they're all the oh, same. The boys hair. are actually playing. Yeah, this is great. Like, talk about LeBron and Bronny being the father-son duo in the NBA. We've already got Tom Stewart and Ollie Dempsey and Lawson Humphreys on the same team. This is bloody great. A lot of hair. I love that, though. But they all sort of just fit. Like, just they're the surfing carpenter family. Yeah. Yep. Tom Stewart, Lawson Humphreys, Ollie Dempsey's like, what are you doing, boys? Oh, we're going for a surf, Dad's so, like, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, let's go. <laughs> they all pile into the uh, the sand groper. What is it? The Sandman van. <laughs> Sandman. Love yeah. that. Off they go. T- t- you know, toiling down to Torquay. Gold Coast. <laughs> Dimmer and Jed Walter. Yeah. yeah we... Dad, I bought a jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sick. Let's go. And off they go. They're racing their jet skis around the Gold Coast. Down those bloody marinas and off they go. <laughs> they live at BCF. <laughs> 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 They've got matching sunnies. Like, it's great. Yeah, but what about the haircut last week? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a bit worried about or is that. It, they just had no, that, no, that was... They, they, got, they got absolutely pissed and he's like, Dad, shave my head. I yeah. dare you. Yeah. <laughs> no, Jed, Jed did something pretty bad and says, oh, I'm shaving your bloody head. Yeah. If you you want to play in the ones I'm going to shave you. Judy yeah. Owens, Adam Kingsley, and Jesse Hogan. They're just working out. The bench presses, yeah. yeah don't they're mind swapping that. creatine recipes. <laughs> <laughs> just like they're making shakes for each other. Just like flexing in the the man the, shakes. Yeah, in, yeah. in the uh, in the breakfast nook in the yeah. morning. Just go, look at that one. Yeah, can you do that? Can you do that? Just like Kingsley's flexing. got him covered. I, reckon. I love that. Hawthorne, Sam Mitchell, and Ginny. Yeah, Jack Ginnivan. I thought this was going to be the naughty Sam kid. Mitchell. The naughty kid. Sam Mitchell's like, will die for nah, sure. Sam Mitchell's like, I just don't get him. His ticker tockers, <laughs> his headbands. Back in my day, like we had none of that. Like we had board games. We had Hodgie trying to punch. And it's just like I don't know. I just, I just don't get it. I'm gonna have to take him. Camp and, that old, yeah. I'm gonna have to take him camp and have a big talk. Yeah. <laughs> like Sam Mitchell's 100 percent the dude. I'm like, he's off his rock. Like, what has he done? But they were best mates when they were ki- when he was a kid. Yeah. And now he's hit like 16. He's gone off the rails. He's like. <laughs> I wish his mum was still here. <laughs> Bloody hell, I can't do this by myself, said Sam Mitchell. Uh, Melbourne. Oh, I love this one. Simon Goodwin and Clary Oliver. Oh, that's an easy one. That's an easy one. He can get away with anything, Off Clary. Off the rails. Yeah. They used to own a pub. They don't anymore. No one knows why. <laughs> <laughs> They've always got amazing new cars. No one can explain oh, it. Geez. They've got matching sunnies. <laughs> There's just a lot going on, <laughs> and you don't ask any questions. I think you should yeah, leave it at that one. Leave it at that. We all know there's a family like that. North, yes, Clarko and Sheasel. Yeah, just way too beloved, serious. Yeah. Way too serious overachievers. Yeah. Everyone's pretty jealous of how good they are, and secretly kind of hates them. <laughs> but it's all built on a deck of cards. Like Dad's got a secret family with the secretary keeps thinking about leaving Mum, and the son just was like, I just want people to notice me. Dad's just a little bit too overbearing. Everyone knows too good. Chisel. And yeah. he's just a little bit sad. Just a little bit sad. Which makes sense being at North. And he's going to be the mm. one that just goes, oh, just, I don't want to follow him with Dad's footsteps. Like he's been pushed into the gear. <laughs> yeah. And he, like, he's like an absolute weapon. And then in two years' time, just goes, no, I just want to go like, traveling. <laughs> he wants to go on a Kentucky. Oh, you better not. He's just going to go lose himself in Thailand for about a month and a half yeah. from the way we go. There you go. Port. Ken Hinckley and Jason Horn. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. From the weekend. That's how it all started. Jason, it's all right, mate. I did the same back in my day. Now, <laughs> well, you've got all the talent in the world. I've been speaking to your teachers. <laughs> we need to set you some goals. We might have to get some medication. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've been in the old ADHD. He's got the yeah. haircut. He's just the wayward youth. 
and Ken's just sitting down and big deep chats with him. But there he is. He's probably a little bit too old. Yeah. He's just like, back in my day, this is how we did so it. So, yeah, Jason he, he's Francis, 65 years old and you had him when he was like 45. It's like, shut up, old, old man. Exactly, old dad. It's a little bit too, <laughs> with the, too, too much of the old Ken. dad yeah, vibe. So, slash accident. And so JHF is just like, shut up. I don't care. I'm going to go hang out with my mates. Look at my hair. <laughs> I'm not getting in the ice bath. Richmond, Adam Uze and Noah Bolter. What? This, is, no, this was a tricky that's, one. That's Adam, the old dad died. Yeah. Oh, this is the new very dad. unnecessary part of the story. <laughs> this is the new dad. And like Noah Bolt has just got this rage inside of him yeah. the entire time. So he keeps keying Adam Uze's car. <laughs> he's just like, shut up. You're not but he just dad. does dumb things and this doesn't could, realize he's doing it. This exactly. could be a book, by the way. It's a TV show. <laughs> or, but Noah Bolt is also setting Adam Uze up as a catfish. He just, he just <laughs> wants to get him in trouble yeah. with his mum. He's like, yeah, I got him. He just wants him out. He's just sick. He just, okay. But also Noah Bolt also just needs to be loved. Yeah. That's all that matters. He just know? needs a hug. He yeah. just needs that. He just needs someone to sit sit him down and just sort him out. St. Kilda, Ross Lyon and Tim Higgins. They run Jack, Higgins. Jack Higgins. Oh, Jack Higgins. You were going to say Tim Membry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim Membry. Member Memberberry. Jack Higgins. <laughs> Jack Higgins. They run a trash and treasure stall together on the weekend. <laughs> every, every Saturday before footy. Yeah. They run the stall, the trash and treasure. <laughs> Higgins keeps buying jousting sticks. <laughs> no one knows why. Slime. Ross blows his lid at him like every two days because he's like just not there for dinner sitting down. You've got to be respectful for your mum! Like this kind of vibe. But they're thick as thieves. And they might also be thieves because they keep knocking over servos. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like on a Wednesday, it's just like there was another ser- servo robbery. In and like, where were you, Ross? Oh. He's like, oh, nah. Like, nah, Jack and I were like at- doing a thing. <laughs> We're doing a thing. <laughs> Sydney, John Longmire and Chad Chunley Warner. How is it not Errol Gordon? No, this is because this is the best relationship. They have so much respect amongst everybody. They are the shining examples of father and sin. There's, a, there's an inbuilt arrogance in what they do. Like Longmire has enough sort of like knockabout country bloke about him, but they're also, he's like the famous rich country lawyer kind of family, and they okay. come from money now. It comes from, comes from like Corowa. Exactly. And so now, yeah. though, They've got all the money in the world. They're like that lawyer family that you knew when you were growing up. And you're like, oh, they've got all the best stuff. <laughs> this sucks. And Chad's just got that arrogant way about him. That you're like, oh, Shiny boots. He rules got the, at everything yeah, he does. kind of want to punch him in the head. Same. Yep. But you can't. You know, that kind of vibe. You're like, yeah. oh, but I kind of like him a bit. <laughs> it sucks. West Coast. This is my favorite. Jared Schofield. And Harley Reid. So, oh, You're not my real dad. <laughs> Where's Shut Adam? up. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> Where's Adam I'm Simpson? not listening to you at all. Like, he's just out. He's just like, nah. I am the dad. I'm so the alpha of this family right now. He's, it's very Riley Thrillthorpe and, uh, yeah. and Nick's. But he is like not listening to Schofield. <laughs> Schofield's afraid to go in the house <laughs> at this point. He's like, Harley's stolen his car. <laughs> he's written it he's off. He's changed the locks. It's yeah. over. It's like, you're on your bike. He just absolute stepdad, stepdad vibes, just not listening to him at all. And then finally, Western Bulldogs, <laughs> AFL dads. It's Our Bevo, favorite. Bevo yeah. and Cody Waitman. Oh, They're God. fixing cars out in the front lawn of Western Oval. Just like, yeah, pass me the wrench. <laughs> Here you go, Dad. <laughs> Off they go. That's what they do. They're a mechanic family. I feel like That's Cody Waitman wouldn't do that. He would get something uh, else. Cody's all good. Yeah, he's, he he's, builds skateboards and stuff. Yeah, and then oh, he's flashing he? okay. on the weekends. That's what he does. Yeah. I love it. And there you go. That's the elevator pitch for Oh, uh, my God. Dads. <laughs> How was long did that long, go? That elevator was 67,000 floors. 13 right? minutes. <laughs> oh, it's about 13 minutes. I spent riding it too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've done. That could be a 13 minutes on the train on the way here. Well done, Jim. All well right, done. that is Footy Dads, AFL Dads with me. Now let's go to our chat with Simeon Thomas Wilson to talk all things Crows and power right after this.